Hello everybody, my name is Shaheen Ahmed. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Automotive and Manufacturing Engineering Technology. Uh, welcome to the MET 654 Design of Experiments course. Uh, if you're registering for Section 01 or Section 10, um, both will be using the exact same website. So once you log in, um, you will see that the design of experiment um, then um, click on the materials uh, click on content and then I have posted the syllabus already so once you download the syllabus let me open the syllabus and explain the components of the course so here is the syllabus uh, for this MET 654 design of experiment fall 2020 um, syllabus now to know more about me, you can click on, I have a link here in my faculty website. You can click on there to know more about me, which is not that interested. Uh, interesting. Now, then let me see. This is an asynchronous online class, um, asynchronous. Now, um, however, I would like to... Um, mention that even though it is asynchronous we have deadlines um, and deliverables so you know so that you can be on a schedule on target and learn the material on time so first thing let's see where do we start um, for the textbook um, I use my own material um, it's in the openeducator.com um, it's in the syllabus. You can click on that link and then there is a link there called the design of experiments and I'll be posting all the materials you need in this openeducator.com slash DOE. Um, there are total 13 chapters or 13 modules. I have uploaded 10 modules. I'm working on the last three modules which are coming basically last month. So for chapter one or first module, you can basically click on that and it has some subsections like in any textbook, any other textbook. For chapter two, hypothesis testing, it has about 12 subsection. Um, chapter three has seven subsections and so on. Um, so for chapter one, uh, for now for this course, um, let me show you uh, what your responsibilities for this course. First of all, you have to study all the materials posted in the openeducator.com under Design of Experiment DOE. Uh, and we have quizzes and exam. Now, the quizzes are weekly. Every week we have a quiz. Um, the only way I can ensure that you are studying three, four hours per week is to in fact, it is six hours for a week for a three credit course. Three hours contract, three hours home study. So make sure that you study five hours a week for this course. The only way I can ensure that is if you study the material, uh, for example, in chapter one, in the openregular.com module one, Introduction to Design of Experiment. So once you study the material for chapter one, and then you take a quick quiz on that um, so that I know you studied the material well. Now for the, and then we have uh, three exams uh, and then uh, there is this Corona credit. You guys are studying at this time, difficult time, so you should deserve some extra credit for that. So that one person is for the Corona credit. And then we have extra credit opportunity, total 13 of them. For each chapter, you'll have extra credit. For each chapter, you'll have one quiz. And each chapter, you'll have one extra credit. Let me go to all the way to the last page, the um this um, schedule page and show you what are the dues for the first week this week start on august 24th the first due is on august 27th all my deadlines are thursday midnight the quiz exams the extra credit opportunity everything closed at thursday 11 30. you have to complete 
all of these by that day. The only way we can be scheduled on target on our study following a restricted schedule. Without that, everything will be messed everywhere all around. So, you know, we don't wanna, we don't want to happen that. So basically, once you study the introduction chapter, the first chapter, and then you finish the quiz by Thursday, um, this August 21st, the quiz is already uploaded to D2L. So once you log in to D2L, so I'm looking at as a student right now. So you will see exactly um, this when you log in to D2L. So one quiz is waiting for you here. You can click on there or you can click on the assessment and then quizzes. Find this quiz here and then basically start the quiz and uh, finish it on time. Now for the quiz, there is no time limit. You can start right now and you have to submit it by Thursday by 1130. You can take as much time as you want. Um, however, um, if you leave the quiz open, try to Google answer, find the answer, it will basically waste your time. Uh, instead, I would say study the material. It's very easy. This site is mobile friendly. You can basically learn all the material. Study everything on your phone. Or you can watch all the videos on your phone. You can read all these description on the phone. And then once you feel comfortable, just take the quiz. So it's very easy to study this material. I have video merged into the text. So you have text explanation, also video explanation um, for each of these texts. So once you're done, feel comfortable, take the quiz. Now, if you try to go goal answer while you are taking the quiz, it will just waste your time. Um, you can, you know, my job is to help you to minimize the time uh, while you learn the maximum amount at this time. So um, if I say something uh, that will minimize your time, it will minimize your time. Um, so I would follow that very restrictedly. So if you want to learn more, um, just watch the video, read the material, feel confident, and then basically take the D12 quiz. So then we'll be doing this every week and then you'll be prepared for the exam. Now we have three exams. Um, exam will be time restricted. So you'll have to do it in within two hours. Um, however, you can take it any time on that particular day. So once you open the exam, it's only two hours. For quiz, there is no limit. You can start right now, finish it in seven days next week. Uh, not next week, I mean this week, Thursday. Um, so um, for quiz, there is no time limit. For extra credit, there is no time limit. For Now for the 13 extra credit, we have 13 chapters. So when you study chapter one, for example, module one, Whenever you see any typos, any grammar, any calculation mistake, anything you find there, that will be an extra credit opportunity. So you take a Word file, copy this link, paste it in the Word file, and then say, hey, here is a typo in there. Here is a calculation mistake in that single sample t-test. Um, so you can say there is this p-value calculation was wrong. Um, so once you read that, also same for the quiz. Once you take the quiz, quiz number 43 has um, a typo in that statement. You can basically uh, correct me something like that. So um, you don't, this is an extra credit opportunity. You really don't have to do it. If you study the material, you'll be fine. But um, if you want to take this opportunity, it will expire every single week. So for chapter one, it's gone by August 27th. For chapter two, it's gone by September 3rd. So both the quiz and the extra credit opportunities are gone by each week. If you don't complete, it's gone for forever, gone for good. Um, for exam, on that particular day, you have to do it. Now, if you have anything coming on that day, you can take the exam. 
uh, please contact me early and also not just for the exam anything we'll be meeting you soon either by zoom or by phone and if you have any question please please email me so after you watch the video go to the openeducator.com and see if you understand what you have to do for this class um, then basically if you have any question just email me um, anytime you need me we can talk or I'm very flexible in my time we can meet by zoom or whatever you prefer um, I think for this quick introduction that's what I plan so you will I hope you will enjoy this class and hope to see you uh, soon um, either by zoom or in by person uh, thanks bye